hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are going to solve day 14 problem of this month on lead code before starting if you guys haven't subscribed my youtube channel yet then please go ahead and subscribe it now without any delay let's get started with today's problem today we are going to solve problem number 2419 longest sub array with maximum bitwise and this problem is actually very easy i am not going to say that this problem is of medium level so let's read the problem statement first. You are given an integer array nums of size n. Consider a non empty sub array from nums that has the maximum possible bitwise and. Okay. So here we are going to use the and operation, right? Bitwise and operation. So if I just draw the and table, then. Uh, here let's suppose one value is a and one value is b and then here i am writing the result okay so let's say this value is 0 and this value is 0 then we will get the result as 0 this value is 1 this value is 1 then we will get the result as 1 if any one value is 0 we will always get the result as 0 okay so only when two values are same 1 1 then only we will get the answer as 1 okay so this is nothing but my bitwise and operation right so now uh let's read the further statement so in other words let k be the maximum value of the bitwise and of any sub array of nums then only sub arrays with bitwise and equal to k should be considered okay and in the end we have to just return the length of the longest such sub array the bitwise and of an array is the bitwise and of, of all the numbers in it a sub array is a contiguous sequence of elements within an array okay so this is important and contiguous sequence okay so now let's understand this with an example here so first tell me so let's take a few numbers okay so here uh, this bit values let's say one two four and eight okay so let me consider two numbers let's say one number is 16 and one number is 15 okay so now let me write uh, 16 uh, here so how i'm going to write 16 16 i'm going to write it like this one zero 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 this is nothing but my 16 number and now let me write 15 so i'm going to write 15 like this 8 4 12 13 14 15 okay so now just do the bitwise end of these two numbers so bitwise end of these two numbers you will get output as zero right you are getting the output as zero okay so every time when we are going to do the bitwise and of any larger number with any other smaller number we will always get some smaller value so let's do the bitwise of 16 let's say i want to do the bitwise of this 16 with 17 okay with 17 i want to do okay so now uh, let me just erase it here okay so here i am going to do the bitwise of 16 and 17 okay so 17 i am going to write it like this okay so here what is the output that i am going to get i am going to get output as 16 only so see 16 and 17 i am getting the uh, output as 16 okay but we need the largest output now so when i am going to get the maximum output only when i am having the maximum number okay so if i just consider 17 in my sub array then i will get the best output okay so here this is what we need to uh, do right uh, consider a non empty sub array from nums that is the maximum possible bitwise end so i will always obtain the maximum possible bitwise and with the largest number that i have okay so this is one point right and i can't do the bitwise and of any largest number with the smallest number okay i can only do the bitwise and of the largest number so let's say largest number is 10 okay so if i just give the bit values here so 10 how i'm going to write 10 i'm going to write 10 like this right so i can only do the bitwise of 10 with 10 right in that case i will get the output as 10 only right so bitwise end of 10 and 10 is nothing but 10 only because if two numbers are same then we will get output as 1 only right so here these two bits are set so this bit is set these two bits are set this bit is set okay so what we need to do here in this problem we have to first find the maximum element in this num array this is one thing find the maximum element in my nums array after finding the maximum num element in the nums array we have to find the largest contiguous sequence of elements within an array so here i first calculate the maximum element so first element uh, here i will iterate over all my nums array i will see that 3 is the largest element 
now i will see uh, how many times this the three is occurring uh, continuously this one and two so this two is the size okay the maximum possible bitwise and of a sub array is three i have already told you that we will get the maximum bitwise and with the largest number only and i can only do the bitwise and of a largest number with itself only right and only then i can find the longest sub array with that value okay otherwise just consider that value only three only okay but if through two threes are continuous then take that okay so here first calculate the largest value largest value is four then see how many times this four is together so only one time right so the maximum possible bitwise and of a sub array is four the longest sub array with that value is four so we return one okay so here see one more example i want to give here so let's say this is my numbers array 10 10 10 10 10 9 10 okay so now tell me here uh, what is the max value first so max value is nothing but 10 okay then after that i have to find the continuous window of 10 okay so how many times 10 is occurring so my output is going to be 1 2 3 4 5 5 okay so this is one window right continuous sub array we need to find so we don't want to consider this okay then from here an other another window will start so just one element in this window okay and in this window five elements and if i do the bitwise end of all these tens i will get 10 only right so i hope that this is clear okay so then i write like this now so this bit value is 1, this bit value is 2, this bit value is 4, this bit value is 8. Okay. So now just do now 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay. You will always get 1, 0, 1, 0 only. Again, do 1, 0, 1, 0. So you will always get 1, 0, 1, 0. 10 only. Right. So this is a maximum window. So first we need to find the maximum element. After finding the maximum element, find the largest continuous window in which 10 is there. Okay. This is going to be my output. Easy. Right. Now let's write the code. So let's do the same thing, okay, whatever I have explained. So first create one variable int max is equal to zero. So this is going to store the max value in my nums array. I is equal to zero, I is less than nums dot length i plus plus. And here max is equal to math dot max between my max and nums of i. Okay, so here I'm going to get the max value. Now let's take one uh, frequency value and uh, initialize it as zero. So now I'm going to store uh, the max frequency, okay, max frequency of elements in that particular range, okay, like here we are getting five, okay, all that stuff. So what I'm going to do again, iterate over all the elements in my nums array, i is equal to zero, i is less than nums dot length i plus plus. And here inside this, just take one variable int count is equal to zero okay now inside this run one while loop and here give the condition while i is less than my nums dot length and here give one and operation and here just check if nums of i value is equal to max okay so this is what we need to check okay so we need to find the largest window size now here so just increment the value of count plus plus and i will be incremented okay so here once this is done then just update the value of frequency okay so this is going to be nothing but math dot max of my frequency original and count okay so this is what i need to do now so here my count will take the count of this one so it is five and zero okay so i will store the my frequency as five then again count will start from here so if i get the count greater than five next time six then i will update that in my frequency okay and in the end just return frequency that's it return frequency okay that's it now let's run the code and see if there are any code issues So see all the test cases has been accepted now let's submit it so see our solution is accepted so i hope that you guys are able to understand today's problem and the time capacity for this problem since here we are running this for uh, nums dot length time so let's say o of n for this one and inside this again we are iterating over all the n elements okay and if we encounter the max value of nums right then in that case we are again incrementing the value of i only inside this while loop okay so we are not covering one element again and again it's not like that okay so we are continuously moving forward only so here for this one as well my time complexity is going to be o of n only okay so you can see the time complexity from here so overall time complexity is going to be o of n okay so o of n 
plus of and simply of to n or you can say of n only right so i hope that you guys are able to understand today's problem if you guys still have any doubts then please feel free to ask in comment section till then keep coding and keep practicing meet you guys in the next video thank you bye bye